Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton, and if you are new here, I am a part-time reseller. I sell on all the platforms. All of my links will be in my description. Um, I do whatnot live shows, YouTube live sh um, auctions. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. I didn't sell. I did sign up for Etsy. I never sold a single thing on there, so I do not think I will be renewing my account or my listings um and yeah we have a thread up diy five pound jewelry box um guys this is i'm hoping will be a quick one i have an appointment in literally an hour and like five minutes so i'm hoping we can get through this one pretty quickly i see some agate i see some um rice beads i see some interesting things this looks like maybe j crew says chico's on it so not bad not bad so let's see let's see if i can get a picture from my thumbnail so i can use that something like that the skull is really interesting let's see the skull maybe it's betsy johnson i don't know but yeah let's go ahead and get into it like i said i I'm hoping this will be a quick one. I do not see a receipt in the bag again. So, again, it probably fell out in shipping. They don't, um, put the receipt, like, in the box. They put it, like, right, they slide it in, and it always goes missing for some reason. Okay, we have a whole bag of earrings. So maybe we will wait and unbox all of those at the end. We have another bag of earrings. I love selling earrings, especially if they are branded. So we'll put those to the side as well. So two full bags of earrings. Oh, you guys can't see me. There we go. Um, two full bags of earrings. So that will be exciting to go through. Guys, I also do test. This looks like sterling. I do test all my silver at the end of my video. Again, this video is going to be trying to be a quick one. So if I don't get to it, I will try and um, put on the screen if it is silver or not. Or I will insert a clip of me um, testing it and putting that it is or isn't silver. This is marked 925. 925 Italy. And it is a little box chain. No, just a regular chain. Just a regular little silver chain. And... I will get a link. Some things I'll give links on, some things I will not. Just depends on how fast we are going. This is a 17 inch chain, actually. 18 inch. It's an 18 inch chain. So I will put out a price on the screen on that. Okay. This one looks like J. Crew. I've had it before. It is. We have a J. Crew faux tort. I believe this opens like so. I'm going to lower you guys a little bit. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. So we have a J. Crew Faux Tortoise Gold Tone um, Hinged Bangle. And it's in really good condition. There is, you know, some fingerprints. There's a few scratches, but I don't see any brass or copper coming through. The gold tone is really good on this. So I have a price on the screen on that. Okay, we have some earrings that look like murano glass but i think they're clay i'm not sure they're really fun very boho let's just do two dollars on them they kind of remind me of chico's i bet they're chico's so two dollars on those okay we have another pair of earrings here these ones also remind me of chico's look how fun those are so two dollars on those as well Okay, we have an... Oh, this is a hairpin. We'll see if we get another one. Put that right there. Okay. Oh, we got some earrings. These are... Oh, Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. They're in excellent condition. They were $13. Let's just do four. Four dollars on the Sugar Fix. Those are definitely a good sold piece. Ooh, I see a Murano heart. It's not marked, but definitely reminds me of Roma, um, Roma, oh lord, Murano, there we go. 
Um, we have a lot of earrings in this box, which is great. This is actually marked. <gasps> Mijani Giovanni, which, if you don't know, is a very, very good brand to um, find. I've sold it twice. But um, one for really good money, one for, like, mm, okay money. But both, you know, oh, and we have the match. So these are a great find. These are a great find. So I can't wait to look these up. I will give a subscriber price, but this brand is very pricey. So, yay. Those are a great find. Perfect. Also, guys, if you can't tell I'm wearing this awesome ring that I got from Christina over at Stina Resells. She sent that to me as a little Christmas gift, and I absolutely love it. Um, this is marked with a rhinestone in the back, so this could be White House Black Market. It could be Chico's. A lot of brands do that now. We have a little hoop. It's a hinged hoop. It opens like so. Put that to the side. Put that to the side. We have a ring. That is not marked. I do not think it's silver. It is a size five and a half. Five and a quarter. Let's just do two dollars on it. Very boho. And again, I don't see any marks on that. I do not think it's silver. Two dollars. Okay, let's see. So this is a stunner. This reminds me of like Aaliyah Sophia or something. Um, let's see. Or a Premier Designs ring. I don't see... It. Oh, it's marked S925. So this is marked 925. Now I don't know how I would test this because this does have like black like gunmetal coating over it. And I wouldn't want to mess up the coating. So this is a size 6. Um, so I will have to find a very inconspicuous place to test and try and test it that way. We have all of these stunning like CZs all across the band. We have the square cut stone. Absolutely stunning. Love that. Okay. We have an earring. Very worn, but I will put it aside just in case we find a match and it ends up being a brand. This is marked 925. Well, 925 little hoop. It's like a chain link. Very nice and dainty. We'll put that to the side. Okay. We have an earring that reminds me of like a Chico's. Put that to the side. We have a match to this earring. We have this earring. We have that tiger earring. That's really cool. We have a rhinestone. We'll put that to the side. We have another rhinestone. We'll put that to the side. Okay, this looks like Jasper. It is marked. Oh, I know that mark. Um... I will try and put it on the screen. It is L-E with an umbrella on the top. I've had this brand before. Oh, I cannot remember what the name of it is, but I will try and insert it on the screen. But these are, I believe, real Jasper, possibly. So, yay. Okay. We have the match to the hoop. Put it there. Put singles here and matches there. Those are singles. Okay. All right, next we have this heart, uh, um, yeah, glass heart, glass heart. <laughs> Saying that three times fast. Um, no markings on it. It's a stunning heart, though. I would assume Murano. It's definitely in the style. Um, it's not marked, so let's just do um, $5 on the heart pendant. I would definitely put it on a different chain. The chain does have, you know, some more on the clasp. I would just take it off this and put, like, on a sterling or a gold, you know, chain. But, um, $5 on the pendant. Okay, we have an earring. We have another earring. These are all unmarked. Okay, let's look at this. This is quite unique. Look how cool this is! Okay, this is so cool. It's missing something. I can't really tell if it's missing the stones or if there was no stones there to begin with. I don't think there's stones. Let me see. Okay, no, there's no stones. It just dingles. Okay, there's no stones. Okay, so this is quite unique. It gives me major, like, Betsy Johnson kind of vibes. Um, I'll Google it and make sure it's not some, like, crazy brand. And um, I will have a price on the screen. Pretty cool. We have a clip-on. 
to make sure it's not like KJL. KJL did make um, CB clip-ons, so you always got to check your clip-ons. Ooh, it looks like I have a sterling chain. It looks like a sterling chain, at least. Oh, look how cute and dainty it is. So it has like this little pendant. It looks like maybe Amazonite. I'm not really sure. It's a very dainty little pendant on a very dainty, um, I believe this is 925. Let's double check. Okay, the clasp is slightly bent, so I just have to bend that back in place. I don't know if you can see that or not. The part that goes in the hole is like bent out of the hole, so I'll just have to bend that back and get that in. Let's see, this is probably about an 18 to 20 inch. It does have an extender, which is very unusual for 925 chains. Um, it is an 18 inch plus a two and a half inch extender. So we will test that to make sure it's silver. Got a couple decent pieces of silver so far. This is a J Crew. It is missing the rhinestones. It's missing three. We have two. So we do have two of the rhinestones. Um, so we are looking for that third to put there. So we'll put that to the side. Hopefully we can find a match. I think we got the match to this one. Put that to the side. Hope we'll um, try and put it on the screen. If these come up as something, they definitely give me like Chico's vibes or White House Black Market. Price will be on the screen for that. Okay, we have a men's bracelet. Hmm. I don't see any markings. This definitely is like a stainless steel. It's very nice. Definitely a men's. It is a men's nine, eight and three quarters. A men's eight and three quarters, I, guess, I would say. Almost a nine. Yeah. So I'm not sure what something like this would go for. I'll have a price on the screen. Okay. Let's see. We have a, I want to say an unbranded, but let's just double check. Most of these are like handmade in like India or handmade in China or along those lines. This is a really cool pendant. So we have like these mauve kind of light pink, corally kind of pink colored brass toggle. So it's like a antique brass and it has this cool pendant. I will price on the screen on that. It's an interesting piece. So we have a bent up earring. Okay, this, ooh, this is an, um, Anne Klein. Let me show you the mark. If I can untangled. Okay, it's still a little tangled, but... Oh, we have the matching earrings! So we have the matching earrings and the necklace. There's the Anne Klein lion. And it is marked Anne Klein on the back. And it is a little tangled. <laughs> and like I said, I'm in a little bit of a rush today. So we're not going to untangle it completely. Um... If anyone wants the set, so you get the necklace and the earrings, let's just do $6. So $6 for the necklace and the earrings. That's a good deal for Ian Klein. Okay. We have another necklace that kind of looks like J. Crew. Let's see. This is a Stella and Dot. Now there is somewhere on the clasp and a little bit on the chain from like here up. It's really pretty. We have all these marquee cut stones with the orange enamel. So, um, again, this is the part that's worn is the part that goes around the neck that you won't even see. So, I don't know. Let's just do five dollars on it if anyone likes it. There is some wear, but it's not terrible. So five dollars on the um, cell and dot. Okay, this is still very. This looks like it could be amber. No, not amber. Um, what am I thinking? Like gold or gold filled? Let's see. Very clean gold. I'm trying to see if I see any markings on it. Okay, I don't see any markings, but it's a really pretty ring. Okay. We have a hoop. No markings. Let's put that to the side. Okay. 
Oh, this is a really cool ring. Good smart. A, B. A, B. I don't know A, B. Is that Alexis Batar? I think that's Alexis Batar. Now, it definitely has some severe wear. It does. Not severe. It has some copper coming through. I don't know if anyone can see that or not. There is some copper coming through. And so it's tritone. So it's gold tone, silver tone, and rose gold. Um, let's get a size on it, just in case anyone's interested. This is a size seven and a half, eight. Goes like in between the seven and the eight. It's a wide band. Um, I don't know. This is Alexis Batar. If anyone's interested, just send me an email. It does have some light wear, or it does have some wear. I wouldn't really call that white. <laughs> But it is Alexis Batar. And even with the wear, I'm sure it would still sell. Let's see. Let's just pull out the rest. Oh, this is a stunning little earring. Reminds me of something like Eisenberg Ice or like um, Trafari or Monet would do. We do have the rhinestone for the for the J. Crew. So that's awesome. Okay, and then this is the last bit. We're actually doing great on time for once. Usually I like to go on and on and on. But today I'm trying to keep it short. I hope every, first of all, I want to hope everyone has a great Christmas. Um, this will be going up on the Saturday before Christmas. So I hope everyone is going to have a super awesome, amazing Christmas with loved ones. Um, yeah, so this is, oh, this is Bobble Bar. Let's get this out of the way. This is a bobble bar, and this is quite substantial for bobble bar. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this for bobble bar before. So this is a quite unique. It's like an antique copper. It's like intentionally distressed. The whole necklace is the same color. Um, and we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strands. Ten strands of chain. That is so crazy. Um... It does have an extender, but let's just see. Extender's not very long. So it's about an 18 inch plus like an inch extender. <laughs> something crazy short. Yeah, about an inch. So I don't know how much something like this would go for. I know some bubble bar does really good. Some bubble bar does not. Um, it's in good condition. So I'll have a price on the screen on that. It's a good one. We have this looks like a J. Crew. No markings. It's pretty. Okay, here's the ring that I'm interested. I want to say this is silver or I want to say this is silver. We have another one that matches it, so we'll put that to the side. Oh, I bet this is a 925 Lotus. Yes, it is marked 925. Okay, we'll have to get that untangled. Um, how are we gonna get this untangled? Okay, we have this earring. Those are just kind of probably going craft because they're a little bent up. Okay. Oh, these are awesome. These are all natural stones. At least they're very cool to the touch. Guys, <laughs> I bought a Presidium. Um, still waiting for the return labels in the back because I got a used one. Paid $300 for a used Presidium, and that's not what I bought. I bought a real a new Presidium, and they sent me a fake one. Or they sent me a used one. So I was very upset about that. And the, the seller is dragging their hills to return it because they don't want to have to return it because they're claiming that it's brand new. Even though I have plenty of pictures that prove them otherwise. Um, but yeah, so kind of going through that at the moment, trying to get a return on my Presidium. So, uh, you know, once that whole return goes through, I will hopefully have a, um, you know, a Presidium to actually use in my videos because I don't want to use that one since... I'm returning it so this one's really cool hopefully i have some information on this on the screen these are all ice cold to the touch these are all stones this is a about a 16 inch plus a two inch extender yeah so i'll have a price on the screen on that that one's really cool we do have a little pendant i don't think it's silver but i will put this at a test 
Um, we do have a broken Chico's necklace. This was a pendant. Now it still can be fixed. You could put a chain through it, like a little silver chain, if you will. Um, you know, and wear it with that kind of just floating. Like that would be really cool. We will see if we get the chain for it though. So put that right there. And so far we have two of those rings. So let's see if we can get another one. Oh, this will go to my niece. This is a little little girl's play ring. Okay. Goes right there. Okay, this is really pretty. This is a Charming Charlie. So you know, not the best brand. It does have its matching earrings, which is awesome. So we have like this cool minty green kind of aqua color with its own, with its matching earrings. That's really pretty. Let's do $4 for the set. You get the necklace and the earrings. So that's really nice. I like that. Sellable. No, the Charming Charlie doesn't really go for the most. It's still sellable. This looks like 925. It is marked. Um, it's smart 925 and then something. So I'll have to look into that. It looks like it matches that um earring or that necklace. We have a little charm. Oh, it's Disney. It's Ariel. A little Ariel charm. How cute is that? That's another piece that's gonna go to my um niece. She loves Little Mermaid. Okay. So we have that earring. I'm thinking these might be made well. I'm thinking these might be made well with 925 posts. Those posts look like 925. Hopefully I'll have a, um, some information on the screen. I'm thinking those are made well. So we'll see. Okay. We have this really cool eyeball earring. That's awesome. Oh, we do have a match to those. So great. Those are awesome. I'll have some information hopefully on the screen. Okay. Ooh, we do have the tiger earring. Where'd it go? We do have the tigers. Let's just do three dollars on those. Those are really cool. I'm not sure if that's like a sports team or if they're just tigers. But they're really cool and those are three. We have a little brooch. A little enameled brooch pen. Um, I don't see markings but I will just google lens it just to make sure. That's a cool one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this goes to that necklace, I think. This is Mark 925. Okay, so this is Mark 925. I can't really get it on the at the moment. But that's cute. And I believe those are real stones. Not sure what they are. But they are really pretty and it's on like a rope color or rope um chain <laughs> so that's pretty okay we have a ring that is very tarnished that is craft we have a hexagon ring that is marked um cc i don't think that's chanel um i don't know that maker's mark it's a c over a c you guys see that cc a hexagon kind of shaped geometric shaped matte gold ring it's a size seven and three quarters just shy of eight hmm i will have to look into that one i don't know what that cc is if you know what that brand is please let me know all right please put it in the comment section okay, this does have some wear but it's okay because I think the pendant is amazing on it so we'll just discard the chain the chain needs to be replaced but this pendant is so cool this is definitely you know a, a stone it's very cool to the touch it's a nice size too it is about uh, two and three quarters by two and a half So really nice pendant. Let's just do five dollars on the pendant. That's really cool. It's a slice. It's a slice of agate. So that's awesome. I like that. I don't see the match to this earring. Womp womp. Okay. Ooh, we have another natural stone necklace. A 
again, the chain, this one's actually wearable. It does have some wear. It definitely does, you know, have some light wear, but it's, you wouldn't know. It's not obvious. This is about a 20 inch chain, but the pendants where it's really cool. It is a three by two inch pendant. Really cool. Another like sliced, this one is faceted. There is a little bit of tarnish on the um, bale. So let's just do $4 on this one. That one's really cool. And again, it needs a new chain and a little cleaning. I don't think this is silver. No. So we'll do $4 on this one because it does have a little bit of wear on the veil. Bale. Okay, let's see. This is Mart. Um, oh, what's that brand? Is this Origami Owl? No. What's the brand that marks their things with a key? Oh, what's that brand? It's a little slider charm. Okay, I can't remember. Is it the giving key? I can't remember. We'll put, put that to the side. We did get the match to these 925 earrings. 925 with like that same like faceted, maybe Amazonite. I'm not sure. Really pretty earrings. Okay. Okay, I don't see another one of these. So let's see. There's no, it is marked. It is marked. Goody. So let's just do um, a dollar on it. Dollar on, a dollar on the hair clip. Okay. We have an earring. It's marked something on the post. I don't think that's silver though. Where's the magnet? I don't see a magnet, but I don't think that is silver. Um, another really tarnished ring. This one's a pretty earring. I think we have a match to those. Okay. Um, if I miss an earring and you are interested in it, just send me an email with a screenshot. So I know which earring you're talking about. Okay, this is another Charming Charlie. This one's really pretty. Again, Charming Charlie made some really nice jewelry. Unfortunately, it just doesn't retail for a whole lot and it didn't it doesn't resell for a whole lot. Um, this is about a 17 inch to 18 inch plus a three and a half inch extender. This one's really pretty. Let's just do four dollars on this one as well. Really nice little Charming Charlie. It's on a gold tone sneak chain and I don't see any wear on it. It's in excellent condition though. So, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just see if I can untangle these really quickly. All right, I'm back. And first thing we have is a 925 silver Pura Vita. Um, I'm not sure what this stone is right here. Or if it even is a stone, I can't really tell. But this is 925 silver. And it is marked Pura Vita. And let's see. It is a 15 inch plus a 2 inch extender. And it is marked 925 and Pura Vita. There's a little not Pura Vita mark. And there's a little 925 mark. So, yay. Okay, next we have a little 925 lotus flower that is very tangled. Um, and it is marked on the um, lotus, like a little 925 and a little marking. I'm not sure what that is. So put that to the side. We have a match to this earring. We have three of these rings. So I'm hoping these are, end up being something good. They're really pretty. I'm going to try and Google Lens them. If I have any information, I will put them on the screen. So it's really cool. Okay. Um, this, oh, this one. I think this one might be marked. Ooh, it's a loft. So we do have a loft. It's a regular loft, not loft outlet or loft anything like that. It's just loft. This is a really nice one. It's a long one. This is a perfect summer piece. Sunshine yellow. So it's a seed bead tassel 
with some faceted glass beads and then like all these little leaves and discs. It's really fun. This one's a long one. No extender, so it is 32 inches. Let's do $5 on the loft. $5 on the loft. Okay. And the single, single, I think we may have had a match on that one. So we have those. And then we have this really cool. This is all like hell lights and seed beads or um and metal beads, I should say. This one's really cool and interesting. Would be cool to layer up with some other pieces. Where I just put my oh, there it is. This one's about 15 inches. It might be 16 if you let's see. Yeah, it's 15 inches or um 16 inches plus a three and a half inch three and a half inch extender. Let's just do three dollars on this one. These so are all how light and beads and fun stuff. Okay, and then we have a J Crew. It is marked with a J Crew tag right there. This one's in excellent condition. There is like not a single bit of wear on this necklace. This is amazing. Um, and we have all of these, it's a two layer necklace. So it's gold tone, like a faux coin textured disc with like a Rolo chain. And then it has this really cool dangle. So that's nice. Um, let's get a measurement. Now there's two layers. So let's just see what the, there is an extender. First layer is about 19 inches. And the second layer is about 15 inches. Or 25 inches. 25 inches. So, um, all the price on the screen for the J. Crew. All right. So, and then we have this J. Crew, which I need to fix. If someone wants it as is and they want to fix it themselves, it needs, you know, the the be um the rhinestones need to get glued back in. But besides that, um, you know, there is a little wear. So let's just do three bucks on it. If anyone wants the J. Crew, three dollars. And again, you will need to glue it yourself. Um, all right, so that was my box. Oh, we also have these bags of earrings, which um, I'm doing okay on time, so let's try and get through it. I'm trying to, like, beat the clock. Most of these I'm going to have to Google Lens because I'm not going to just, like, recognize them. Um, so we have those. Price will be on the screen. These are new on the card. Landry. They were $28. Um, I don't know Landry. I don't think I've ever gotten it before. But those are stunning, like Barbie core, um, fringy tassel dangles. So I'll have some information on the screen on that. Okay, we have um, a black tassel. These remind me of um, Bobble Bar and J. Crew. So we have those. A little bit different than normal tassel. They have like all of these like little macrame at the top. So those are those. Okay, we have these crazy hoops. High price on the screen on those. We have these. These are interesting. Now, this is a really pretty color. I don't see the. Oh, we do. We do have the match. So let's see. So those are nice. We have those little fringy ones. Let's just do a dollar on these. Dollar on that pair. Oh, actually, they cleaned up really good. So never mind. A dollar. Those are nice. Okay, we have these. Again, let's just do a dollar on those. Okay, these are really fun. A little macrame, kind of knitted, crocheted, very boho cottage core. Let's do two dollars on those. It's really cute. Okay, we have this tassel. Let's just do two dollars on the burgundy. Two dollars on those. Okay, we have these that, these might be a glass or, they're definitely glass or a stone. 
I'll have to Google lens those and see if anything comes up. Those are cool. Okay, we have a little tassel earring. Let's see. I don't see a match or anything, so we'll put that to the side. These have some wear, so those will be craft. Okay, we have these that are really pretty. Um, I will get the hair out of them. <laughs> um, these are stunning. These might be like a brand, like an unmarked something. These are stunning. I love the CB tassels. Let me do a zoom in. But like, look how stunning those are. They do feel like maybe glass beads. Those are really pretty. So we have those. Press on the screen. Okay, and then we have these. Again, these have a tiny bit of wear. Let's just do a dollar. Very boho. Let's do a dollar on those. They have a little bit of wear. Okay, so that was the first bag. There were some good pairs in that. Let's see if we get the match to that one. Oh, we have this pair too. Which is this fashion, big statementy yellow. Um, we'll do a dollar on them, but they are about a four inch dangle. So a dollar on those. Okay, last bag and then we're done. We'll see if we can get through it. <laughs> Can match these up quickly so no match no match no match okay oh these are a bobble bar they are marked i love it when they're marked very plainly invisible to see so those are oh they're missing they're missing a bead so we'll have to see if i can find that in the bag so that's an easy fix so there's those Okay, oh, we have a really cool, is this like a Cocopelli or a woman? That's really cool. Okay, we have like a faux marcasite hoop earring. Bolt on hoop. Like that, this looks like a loft. I don't see a marking though. Okay, let's see. Okay, these are matched. So we have these purple... I want to say these are J. Crew. I want to say I've gotten these before or something very similar. I'm going to have a price on the screen on those because I, I want to say these are a brand. It's really fun. Just be on the screen of those. Ooh, these are awesome. These give me major Stella and Dot vibes. Very boho. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, that one's... That one came apart. I th we can fix that. It just gets reattached. We have this earring. Again, that looks like a still in dot, but there is no match and no hook. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure about that one or that one or that one. So all of the hoops on the floor to the side. Yes, those ones usually don't. Let's see those. Okay, so those ones are the ones we do want to try and find a fine. Find the matches. Okay. Ooh, this looks like the Cartier ring. Holy crap. This is actually marked Cartier 750. Um, this is marked 750. Which we don't know that's 18 karat gold. And it is marked Cartier. <laughs> it is marked Cartier. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to go on the limb and say this is fake. Right there, Cartier 750, and then it says other numbers, like a serial number, right there. Um, let's test this. Like I said, I'm assuming it's going to be fake. Cartier is one of the most faked, you know, jewelry brands, like, ever. Cartier and Tiffany and all of those. 18 karat gold acid, which again is also silver acid. That is so weird. It's not disappearing. It's not shining blue, but it's not disappearing, which for silver it would turn blue. For gold it would stay. Okay, let's try 14k acid.
that's 18k I need 14k holy moly guys the 14k is not disappearing um holy crap did I just get Cartier oh and it says love right here Did I just get Cartier? <laughs> Holy moly. Did I just get Cartier? The 14K is still sitting, by the way. The 14K is still there. And so is the 18K. Holy moly. Did I just get Cartier? Okay, um, it's about an 8 because it fit me. Let's see. It's an 8. I'm going to have to do a lot of research. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of research. This, this is, this is crazy. This might be my best find ever. Oh, okay, um, oh, wow, okay. Um, where do we, how do we go on from there? Um, this, this is, um, Al, um, oh Lord, um, this is Pandora. This is marked, um, S925ALE50, which is, if you don't know anything, it's marked ALE is Pandora. Um, I collect Pandora. This is about a size seven. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this ring. Okay, this one's a little tricky to, to size because it has these, um, Oh, it expands. So actually, I think I could probably get this to fit me. So it does expand. Get it all the way up to like a seven. There's an eight. So it fits very comfortably like at a seven, I would say. With a little extra room to go. So we have a little Pandora ring. Yay. See, they saved all the good stuff for the end. <laughs> um... Here we have another ring that is Mark Kendra Scott. So we have a Kendra Scott ring. It does have some wear, unless it's intentionally distressed. Um, it's a size seven and a quarter. Let's say seven and a half. Um, Kendra Scott, Pandora, Cartier. These look like 925 ear hooks. Okay, um, guys, I still can't get over the Cartier, if it's real. Um, this is marked Banana Republic. I'll put price on the screen for those, Banana Republic. Um, okay, um, guys, I'm still freaking out about the ring. Okay, this looks like it could be something. We have, like, a little pearl with all these little CZs. Don't see any markings, but that looks like it could be silver. We have an acrylic ring. That is a size 7. Let's do um, $2 on that. Acrylic ring. Guys, if this is Cartier, I'm I'm literally... I literally can't. Okay, um, this is the Bunning Tree. Inspired and created by us. Loved by all. I don't think these are silver. Um, I'll look that up just to make sure. The budding tree. Okay. Um, this is a ring that has a ton of wear. Okay, this is a really pretty earring. Those are stunning. Okay, we have this little seed bead. Earring. This looks like it could be Betsy Johnson. Oh, this is Marty Crew. I don't see the match though, unfortunately. This looks like another Kendra. It is. We have another Kendra Scott ring. All the CZ rhinestones are there. So we have two Kendra Scott rings. Oh, this is another one. Three Kendra Scott rings. This one could be Kendra too. Four Kendra Scott rings. So we have five five Kendra Scott rings so we have a whole little stack 
So, not, oh, six, maybe? This one has a ton of wear, though. It's six Kendra Scott rings. Crazy! Okay. This is crazy. Okay, um, guys, I have to end it because I'm about to, I have to be at an appointment in literally ten minutes. Um, this is Mark something, too. <laughs> This is Swarovski. A swore. Oh lord, guys, I'm literally tongue tied. This is Swarovski. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the match. I don't see it. Um. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the match to Swarovski anywhere, but we will we will keep an eye out for that. Oh, we do. We have Swarovski. Swarovski. Super stunning crystal. Um. Pave little huggy hoops. Those are Swarovski. Um, oh, this looks like sterling. So let's see. It is marked something. Austria? Turkey? Marked Turkey. Yes, it is marked Turkey. AU. 14, hold on, 14K. Guys, these are 14 karat. This is AU14K Turkey. Holy moly. Okay, let's test them. Wow. Okay, um, 14K acid. Let that sit there for a second. Okay, a lot of these we did not get matches to, which is unfortunate. We did get the match to these. So let's do a dollar on those. Um, <laughs> guys, I can't get over this box. It was kind of slow at the beginning, but then it sure did pick up, didn't it? It sure picked up. Okay, um, yeah, these these are 14k. So we have 14 karat gold little chandelier. Lever back earrings. 14 karat white gold. Fourteen karat white gold. Cartier. Pandora. J. Crew. Kendra. Um Swarovski. We got you know guys, this is a crazy box. <laughs> Oh, and this is actually marked. Hold on. I found the match to the little person. It's stuck on something, though. Look, it's stuck. Uh, guys, I have to be in an appointment in literally, like, 15 minutes, and I have to drive, like, 20 minutes to get there. Um, I mean, how can I stop? Um, okay, these are marked. This one's marked. So that one is just a person, and this person's holding two hearts. And it is marked S Packard, P A C K A R D, Packard. I don't know that brand. I'm not sure if they're both supposed to have hearts or if we're missing some. Um, guys, I have to end it or I will be severely late for my appointment. And it's a really important port, um, really important appointment. Or I would just cancel it and just keep digging through these earrings. But, um,. Yeah, we have 14 karat gold. This is testing for 18 karat gold. So if anything, it's at least gold. Um, 18k Cartier. 14k white gold studs. Swarovski, Pandora. I think our best pieces came at the end. Oh, and then of course we had the little 95 ring. The um, chain. The Lotus Flower, the Pure Vita, and the um, little 925 chain with the little bead. And I, like I said, I think these are made well. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. So if this is real, this is probably my best thrifted find ever. And like I said, it does say love, you know, which I believe the, the authentic ones do say love at the top. Um, okay, guys, I have to end it. But if this is real, this is absolutely insanity. Absolutely insanity. And then, of course, you know, 14K Pandora Swarovski. 
Guys, mind blown. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave a comment if you think this Cartier ring's real. I mean, it's still holding. That's the ring. Those are the chandelier earrings. And then that is the um, Cartier ring. So, um, again, let me give you a zoom in on that Cartier. Maybe someone out there already has it and can reference theirs to this one. I wish I had a Cartier I could reference it off of. There's the mark. Cartier. 750. And then a bunch of serial numbers. And there's the L-A-V-E. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys. I have to go. I will see you in the next one. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Bye, guys.